The Tour of Alberta, Canada's largest professional cycling race. In its second year, comprised of 15 teams from 13 countries, over 100 cyclists from all over the world, an overall distance exceeding 700 kilometers, with six days of national and international coverage broadcast to more than 162 countries. In its inaugural year, boasting over 41 million viewers, with five sponsored stages, starting with the time trial prologue in Alberta's Olympic City, Calgary. Tom Dumoulin, he mentioned that he had some trouble with jet lag, so he asked for an early start. He blasted through the course, and the hill didn't seem to bother him. Standing on his pedals very early, he set the standard that everybody had to try to beat. Under six minutes to make it through the course, and then had to wait over 90 to see if it would hold up. There's the podium, Dumoulin, Tvetkov, and Danielson. A dip south to sunny Lethbridge for stage one. Now the weather did not cooperate. It was cold, it was rainy. It made it for difficult riding conditions for all the competitors who left Lethbridge. Through the final turns, knowing that the finish line awaits, coming around the outside, head down, getting to the line, and it is so very close when they finish. Nobody really knows exactly who has won the stage. A look at the podium to the top step goes Ruben Zapunka on a very rainy day. On to stage two, the rural circuit from Innisfail to Red Deer. It's quite a, a lottery. 40 guys make it, 50 guys make it, that's always uh, can change the whole race. It was very spirited, a number of attacks right from the start. Teo Boss in the green, moving quickly. Looks like he's got control, but right behind him is Jonas Allstrand. And Allstrand of giant Shimano is able to pull by Teo Boss of Belkin and take the stage. Tom Dumoulin added to his collection of cowboy hats as he dons the yellow jersey as the leader after two stages of the Tour of Alberta. Stage three, the safe, strong, and proud community of Wetaskiwin to Canadian Forces Base Edmonton Garrison, known as the Steel Barracks. Right from the start, they attack. It got interesting though in the garrison with a huge group coming through this three-loop course, three riders decided to take it away. The breakaway, Ramunas Navardowskis, Sepp Van Mark, and Lee Howard. A terrific finish to this stage, and it was Sepp Van Mark of Belkin, outlasting Navardowskis and Howard. Stage four, the longest, begins at Edmonton Northlands and then on to Strathcona County. It was an absolute glorious day when they left. There were six sections of what they called Canadian Pave. Then look at the dust that it kicked up for these riders in stage number four. And on the three laps of Sherwood Park, this race would be decided. Teo Boss takes his own stage and back-to-back -back stage wins by the Belkin team. The podium finished for Teo Boss as he was able to charge by Impey and Kochan. And the final stage in the province's capital city, Edmonton, centered around Winston Churchill Square. Taking off at the gun from just outside Edmonton City Hall. And of course, look what happens when the streets get a little wet. As you can see that causes some pain. Now setting up the final laps here in the Tour of Alberta and coming to the line, racing through Daryl Impey, a terrific sprinter, able to outlast Ryan Anderson, the Canadian. Impey gets the yellow by one second. The Tour of Alberta 2014 has its share of drama on and off the course. One inch, one second. I think it's huge for Canadian cycling. The more races we can get here, the better. I'd love to come back. This, is, this has been a blast. And all the Canadians that are here are, are proud of them and in riding are really hard. They've done a great job with the course so far, and I think it's a great format. There's no shortage of talent. We just need to develop the talent, and there's a, there's a lot of work put in place, so it's a big, bright future. 
And with any major event, you celebrate with a little bubbly. But don't get it in your eyes. The winner of the Tour of Alberta for 2014. It was a great week in Alberta. Cycling was the winner.